Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on Database for Beginners. In the previous episode, we have successfully learned how to use where keyword in select statement. And in this episode, we will uh, learn to use top keyword and distinct keyword while uh, using the select statement. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So first of all, we'll need to open our SQL Server. So for that, I will open SQL Server Management Studio by clicking on this icon. And it will open our database, which is Microsoft SQL Server 2014. And then let's connect our database engine with local server name. So I'll just click on connect. And let's expand our databases. So I'll just click on this plus icon. And here we have sample database. We have been working on the sample database. So I'll just open the database and let's expand the tables. And here we have two tables, uh, TBL user and TBL employee. Uh, TBL employee was created on the last uh, episode. Uh, so uh, we will be working with uh, this table in this episode as well. So I'll just go to a new query. To create a new window where we can uh, write uh, the query so first is to use the database so use our database name is sample database let's into semicolon and here the selected database is master so I'll just select the query execute it and now the database selected is sample database you can also change the database by clicking on this icon but I just wanted to show you the uh, method using a query so here we will be uh, displaying uh, the employees from tbl employees so select a string from tbl underscore employee and let's see the employees detail and here we have nine employees now we'll be using a distinct keyword uh, to filter uh, the data from the list so distinct keyword is used to avoid repetition for example here we have uh, repeated data like Kathmandu is repeated three times or four times and pokhara is repeated uh, i don't know pokhara is repeated only once but we have repeated Kathmandu. but what uh, if we only need uh, or if we only want to know the places the uh, different places of the employees and we don't want the repetition of data in that case we can use a distinct query so for example select dis dinc to distinct and we will write the column name which is address and from tbl underscore employee that's it uh, sorry space here and let's select it and let's execute it so here Kathmandu is not repeated it's showing only once so this is the use of distinct uh, keyword in select statement uh, you can use it on various purposes like to know different names of the employees uh, if we if you do not uh, need uh, other details just only on want to see the unique names of the employees then you can use distinct as well uh, let's see the detail of the employee so for example in a large company you may have uh, the name of the employee bj can have multiple people have the same name uh, but if you do not uh, want to uh, see the uh, name of the employees multiple times you just need to see the unique names of the employees then you can use distinct uh, in that condition you can use as well and the next thing is we'll be using a uh, top keyword to limit uh, the uh, list of uh, the employees while using select keyword because if you have this is a small database so we have we just only have nine employees but if we have if, if we are in a large corporation and you have uh, millions let's take it list so if we have thousands of employees and you use this query then it it will take uh, a longer time to display the details of thousand employees instead what you can do is uh, use the limited number uh, to display the uh, details of the employees so in MS SQL server you can use uh, top query in MySQL uh, you can use like um, limit query and in Oracle you can use row num uh, to just limit the number of rows 
so let's see the example of using top keyword so here i will go with select top and top i will uh, display the list of four employees select top four and all from tbl underscore employee so let's select this one and execute it so it will display uh, the a list of first four employees you can also change it to six and it will display six so it will display the list uh, quicker than uh, displaying the list of whole bunch of uh, employees uh, from your database so this is the faster way and this is guys we have successfully used distinct and top keywords in our ms sql server database uh, there is another method as well like using fetch uh, to limit the specific uh, list you can use offset uh, with fetch as well so i'll show you that in another tut tutorial but uh, this is it uh, for this tutorial we have successfully uh, used our distinct keyword and top keyword in our select statement i uh, hope you enjoyed it and learned something from this and if you have any confusion related to this tutorial then don't forget to comment i reply as soon as possible and in the next episode uh, we will use asc dsc and percentage keyword uh, to search and search uh, data in our ms sql server database so thanks so much for watching if you like this uh, tutorial and think uh, this can be helpful to others then don't forget to like share and subscribe and till the next episode see you soon bye bye